Hey everybody, Mr. Bierbauer here, and welcome to a special holiday edition of Art Class. Um, we're going to begin our art class the way we do every class, with our artist promise. So, I'm going to go ahead and read through it, and if you want to read with me, feel free. As artists, we will always try our best, respect ourselves, our friends, and our artwork, take responsibility, imagine new things, support each other, and take time to clean up. Today we are going to be drawing a Thanksgiving cartoon and we are going to be using some of the elements of art that we have talked about so far. Now really quick, we know this week is Thanksgiving. Um, can anybody share what Thanksgiving means to them? Now for me, Thanksgiving is a great time usually to get together with friends or family course eat a lot of good food but also think about things that we are thankful for. For example, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for all of our good health, and I'm thankful for the chance to be here and do art with you guys. Does anybody want to share anything that they're thankful for? All right, awesome. So one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is all the great food. What are some of your favorite Thanksgiving foods? Do you have any that's special just for your family? Now, personally, I really, well, I love it all. I really love the pies, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, all that good stuff. I really love stuffing or dressing. And of course, I really love turkey. So in honor of Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving turkey, this week we're going to be doing turkey cartoons. I'm going to show you step by step on how to draw yours and then you are going to get to decide how you want to decorate yours. You can use colors, you can use patterns, you can use lines, you can use anything you want that we've talked about so far to decorate and I'm going to show you two examples that I did. All right everybody I'm going to show you how to draw our Thanksgiving turkey cartoon today. The first thing we're going to do is we need a piece of white paper and something to draw with. I'm going to be using a black marker just so that'll show up a little better for you. So you're going to turn your paper so it is tall. The first mark you're going to do is going to be sort of a V shape with a curvy bottom. This is going to be the bottom of the turkey's face. It's going to be near the top of the paper. So just like that, it's like a curvy V. Then we're gonna put a top on it with just a part of a circle so it kind of looks like an ice cream cone. After that, we're going to do another line just like that, part way down the face. This is going to split our beak and our face. On the top above that line, we're going to do two circles or ovals right beside each other for eyeballs. And then you can put your pupils inside, which will just be another small circle or an oval. And you can put them however you want. I'm going to have my turkey look like he's looking down, but you could have them anywhere in there just so there are two eyes. And we're going to do two small little ovals down here for nostrils on the beak. After that we have one more thing for the turkey's face right now and that will be the wattle. So that's the thing that hangs down from the turkey's face. So you can do either a squiggle sort of shape or like an S shape just hanging down from the mouth or from beside the beak and then we're going to close it up and go back up. So that one kind of looks a little bit like a worm. After that, our turkey needs a big fat body. So from the bottom of the head, we're going to do a big circle. We want it to fill up most of the space, but we do want a little room below and beside it. After that, we're going to do our two wings on the side and they're going to look kind of like three fingers stuck together. You could even trace your three fingers if you wanted just sticking off from the side. So here, I'll trace this one just to kind of show you. 
And then we can do another similar shape over here. I'm not gonna trace, but you could trace both of them. I'm gonna do one, two, three. So see, they look similar, but a little bit different. After that, we need legs and feet. I didn't leave a lot of room down here, so my legs will kind of go out to the side. And just like a rectangle going out and a rectangle going out. Yours could go straight down. Yours could do one down, one sideways, whichever you want. And then we're gonna do another similar shape to the wings for the feet, except we're gonna come from a point. So I'm gonna start here and go one, two, three, back. And start from the back, go out one, two, three, and back. So it's almost like a heart with an extra bump. After that, we need to do some feathers for our turkey. The easiest way to do this is these are gonna be sort of like upside down U's. We're gonna start with one right behind the top of the head. And then we are just gonna kind of work our way out. So like U's or sort of like fingers sticking out. And we're just gonna keep going out and around. And I'm not gonna tell you how many you need to do of these because you may have a different amount depending on how big you're drawing. But basically we wanna take them and go down almost to our wings. And they can be tall feathers, they can be short feathers, anything like that. All right, and there is our Thanksgiving turkey. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to decide if we are going to use colors or lines or patterns to fill them in. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the two finished turkeys that I did. This first one I just did one black and white and I used different lines um, and patterns. You can see I did those like V-shape lines repeating for feathers. I did squiggly lines. I did straight and curvy. I did when, when you do lines going one way and then do lines back across, that's called cross hatching. I did zigzag patterns and I did patterns of squares and a huge spiral in the middle. Now here's the one I did in color and I actually used several different things with color. First of all, I did patterns up in the feathers and I did complementary colors beside each other. So you can see I rotated blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. For each of those feathers, I did a yellow, purple, yellow, purple, and green, red, green, red. So I did patterns of repeating complementary colors and they make each other pop out. On the head and the body, it may look like I scribbled a little bit, but actually I was doing that on purpose. You can see I did like zigzags and I overlapped them a little bit to make them look like feathers. And it almost makes makes it look like my turkey would be fuzzy if you felt it. That is something called texture, and we will be learning about that next week. I also did a pattern of lines on top of color down here to make it another sort of texture. So as you can see, two turkeys, same basic picture, but very different 
final products. So I can't wait to see what you come up with.